Wow, after so long stuck in the 80s, it feels great doing these 21st century video breakdowns. I say we keep this ball rolling and do a current song. Let's see, what should we do? Oh, there's a new Ed Sheeran video out. Yes, folks, at long last, we've caught up to the modern day, and I'm thoroughly unimpressed. I've never really been a big Ed Sheeran fan. I liked him enough in Yesterday, and I wouldn't turn his songs off from the radio, but I've never really sought him out. And I've gotta say, this video isn't convincing me to start. Bad Habits is Ed Sheeran's first song in six months after his Christmas single Afterglow. Written and produced during lockdown and after the birth of his daughter, Sheeran decided to create a more upbeat song to celebrate the reopening of society. I had a first single chosen and uh, we were going to shoot the video, the album was mixed and then in January or February England announced that June, in June the country was going to be opening up and my single was scheduled to come out in June and I was like, I don't know if the world needs a depressing, like, sad, slow acoustic song when it's all opening up. So I was in studio and we created this song and it's just fun, I think. I think it's fun. Because what's more cheery and uplifting than spiraling out of control with self-destructive habits? Ed has broken against the usual t-shirt and jeans look and here plays a glam vampire. A glampire, if you will. Please don't. Don't let me be the one that introduces you to Glampires. He looks less like Nosferatu and more like the I Like Turtles kid. Pardon me. Did you do that? It's very nice work. I know he's trying to go for the Lost Boys here, but he looks like an even gothier Danny Elfman. Oi, I'm right chuffed about this takeaway, Govna. I'm so sorry. We get that you like ketchup, Ed. We know you have that tattoo and your whole deal, but you can't put it on Chinese food. It doesn't go on everything. And this is coming from a guy who loves ketchup. I legitimately got a six pack of ketchup for Christmas one year. Look at this face, Ed. This guy thinks you need to tone it down. Listen, I love a nice split diopter shot as much as the next film nerd, but that's not going to save you here. Sometimes that is better. Symbolism. People are already going to compare this to Twilight Ed. Please don't encourage them. So now Evil Ed is crushing and deflating the good Ed? If this song is about him staying out too late and behaving badly, what is this supposed to symbolize? Destroying your body with late night partying and alcohol? The tendency to devalue yourself in one of these spirals? Turning against your pure instincts in favor of dark impulses? What does it all mean, Ed? Just what everyone wants, a puke-induced traffic pileup. The CGI here looks incredibly fake. It looks like it was completed in about 2001. We live in a society. Morons, you all knew what would happen if you stayed out this early. Shut up about the sun! Hey, how should we have this evil mythical creature die? He should split off into a million pieces. You know, like Voldemort. And now Good Ed is back. So what was all that duality of man stuff about? Aftermath, this song is hardly two weeks old. The video is directed by Dave Mayers, who also directed Sheeran's anti-social video. His other credits include Billie Eilish's Bad Guy and videos for Ariana Grande and Pink, among many others. The video really seems to mix its metaphors. I was only able to figure out the going out leads to a spiral of bad behavior meaning through watching interviews. And it oscillates between that deeper context and just being Ed in a mini vampire movie. I think videos now provide a consciousness. They provide sort of a need to stand out, whereas in the past they didn't as much. They just sort of were spectacles. Now they carry a truth with them. And so I'm really excited about this generation of artists and what they have to say. I'm just really enjoying working with Dave because I have never, ever looked like this before. I wonder how much of the rushed elements of the video had to do with the pandemic. Given that Ed only started writing the song in January, that means he wrote, recorded, mixed, and produced the song all in six months, which is a quick turnaround for a big artist like Sheeran. It would follow suit that the video is also a rush job. Producing a music video is already hard work, and it's even more so during COVID. 
Were there things that they wanted to do that they couldn't find a safe workaround for? Could they have made the visual effects look a little bit better if they had some more time to work on them? Who's to say? Go on, Nick. Commit to it, man. Commit to it. Come on, this is your Everest, son. This almost seems like the beginning of Ed's Look What You Made Me Do era. The only difference is that Taylor actually made efforts to change her image. Meanwhile, Ed went on James Corden for a week, looking the same as ever. No new wardrobe or persona at all. There's no big Ed can't come to the phone right now moment. Time may tell as to whether evil Ed is here to stay, I suppose. Thanks for watching everyone. I always appreciate people liking and sharing my videos. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Do you know a terrible music video you'd love to see me cover? Drop it in the comments. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you! Woo! That is why I won't do two shows a night anymore, babe. I won't. I won't do.